So we're at the Eastern Bazaar right now and I just spoke to a local over here and he says on the left side is where all the Turkish food are, in the middle is where all the Indians and then on the far right you'll find all the like there's some Chinese food there too. Everything is really good so I don't even know where to start. Everything looks really good and everything's really cheap. I feel like we could get three meals for a hundred rand. That's like seven USD. I'm really excited and we're hungry. Yeah. walkway of different cook stations We've got like one or two cashiers you order from the cashier and then you take your little chit ticket and then you pass it to the cook it's pretty quick michael got his in like two minutes we got our naan in two minutes there's a guy over there you saw making fresh naan in that brown stove thing whatever it's called and got it for pretty cheap price so one of the main staples that they say you have to try in cape town is a bunny chow it's basically like a half loaf of bread that's just um, hollowed out. Like you can put lamb in, you can put vegetables in. I went with chicken. And then also there's chili bites. Which is just like dough and then there's spices inside and then it's fried. And then on this one over here, it's called samosa. This is a vegetable one. There's veggies in here and it's like a sort of pocket. And it's all fried, it's really good. And then also I've got another uh, like a chicken uh, samosa which is also really good too. So I'm pretty excited to be riding. The thing, all of this right here is like 72 Rand, and we translate to like less than five dollars, like 4.95. I just got a big bowl of chicken and noodles. Mm, I think it was called chicken haka noodles. I don't know, I couldn't really read the writing, but noodles sounded like a good choice. And then our garlic naan. Oh, yeah, there's tons of garlic on that. How much was that? 55 Rand. So 100 Rand, you figure is about 7 USD, and this was 55 Rand. As we were walking out of the bazaar there, the guy that was working, I think he was a security guard, he, uh, he called us over. Michael had the camera in his hand. He gave us a heads up, like, hey, be careful walking around with that camera around here. People will snatch that out of your hand, if not more. So we kind of like, don't go down that street over there. Make sure that you guys hold on to that thing tight. So just to give everybody a heads up. But overall, verdict. For the value, you can't beat the value for the food. I mean, that's like three meals in one. It's definitely a must try, but also come in the day. Don't come during the night hours. There is some crime and stuff going on here. Just be aware and be keep your eyes open. But the food's value and the food's taste is real, real Indian. Definitely worth it. So from here, we're gonna head back to the Airbnb. Look what I found. A cat that's in need. <gasps> A cat that's in need of loving and love smothering and cuddling. He's a South African cat. A Cape Tonian cat. Maybe I can get him to come stay inside tonight. Just for one night. 